Hello YouTube, it's Herpsterp here with another episode in our Spy Vault series. And we got some more stuff to do on the Oregon Moon today, and I'm happy about this. So this vault here is the easiest of all the vaults on the Oregon Moon, I'd say. It's definitely definitely the easiest to do if you've never been here before. Now there are there are precisely uh, two and a half ways to complete this particular vault, I would say. But anyway, it's this vault. This vault is all about, um, all about its, all about its lasers. Because as you can see, there are lasers here. If I walk down there, there are lasers down there. If I go over here to the side, and I don't think it's not particularly safe for me to do this with a Nova. Actually, you know what? Maybe I could show you guys. No, it's not. It, uh, it's not safe. I'll show you later. Uh, at any rate, <laughs> at any rate, uh, but there's, this vault is entirely about lasers. Um, can I get through down below? I might be able to. I'm gonna take a look and see if, whoa, no, I'm not gonna try to go down here. Okay, so, there are, there are two and a half ways to complete this vault, and I'll start showing you guys the easiest, instead of trying to prove what I said about how there are lasers all over the place this vault. So this one, as you can see here, this got six lasers going around it, but they're arranged at the points of an octagon. So there's, they come in a group of three, then there's a gap, then a group of three, then there's a gap. So I recommend you watch. One, two, three, and go. Okay, so now we have another one of these funny little void rift time travel whatever the heck these are. And it puts you facing the storage locker, so everyone always just opens that, because why not? Alright, and now as you can see, we have the same vault, but in the Oregon time. That's in a lot better condition. I'm gonna go see if I can find... No, I don't think those lasers are gonna be, gonna be able to be seen. So I'm gonna... Let's just head straight back up there. And I will show you the way I like to do this vault. There's uh, there's two ways to do this. There's the way there's a way to do it in our time. And there's a way to do it in the old time. And this particular vault, I like it in our time. Now that those lasers start moving about a second after you spawn through. So there's that. All right. So now we have to take out some more of these spectators. These shots can actually be kind of difficult, especially if you're like me, like to use um, projectile bows rather than high scan weapons. Because, oh, well, first of all, nah, I'm just reset that because we have to. It's a lot easier if we can actually make this shot from uh, this location. But as you can see, we're now going around in a circle, and it can be rather difficult to make this shot. Let's see if I can do it the first try. Oop. Got it. Okay. So now, here's another example where using Nova or Loki for warframe with mobility. That's not where I want that can be quite useful. Or you can... This, that, this vault, like I said, pretty easy to do with just aim gliding. It's, so there's three spectators. There's two more to take out. There's one that's patrolling on the top level. You can usually ignore that one. And then there's one that's patrolling down here. Absolutely. Come on, punch through. You absolutely have to kill... Oh my word, I can't aim. You absolutely have to kill this one. Okay, I thought the punch through my bow was enough to get through that railing, but apparently not. So I apologize for some of the silliness that happened there. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go... Here's how I can show it to you. We're going to go through this this portal here. So now we're in the orc version. As you know, if you want to, you can... Oh my word, I can't, I can't hit side of a barn today. As you know, if you want to, you can always reverse these portals. Okay. So, here's what I was gonna... Here's what I was talking about. Was on the other side here... They're gone. Oh, interesting. Hmm. See, there's... Uh, this side here, and you can also come through this way. But for some reason... Some action I've taken so far on this vault. I'll have, to, I'll have to test this one. Some action I've taken so far on this vault has actually deactivated the uh, 
laser barriers up here. See, there's normally a set of lasers on these rotating platforms that actually rotate around with you. Uh, they actually rotate around with you, so you'd have to, uh, you have to, for example, be moving in and out on these rotating, thi on these rotating things to avoid the lasers as you try and walk around them and get to the, get to the next thing. And of course, there's electrified floors, electrified walls, electrified ceiling. So this could be a little tricky, but you can. Yeah, laser plate. There we go. See, see, there's lasers right there. Those also are going to be on and off. So, but you can actually get here if you if you take that one set, uh, that one uh, six prong rotating laser thingy from the first start, and you uh, juke past that over the top of it to a door behind it. You can that takes you straight into that area that you can do. Either way, all roads lead to Rome. Eventually, you end up in the Orican era, and eventually, what you need to do, I'm gonna be uh. I'm gonna do some uh, MLG Pro things here. Get that set up. So if it, because that floor turns to ice down there, but not like there's usually there's usually not a problem. Completely missing. So you start a challenge here. Those plates will pound, and we just face straight through that across the ice. But usually, yeah, a simple a, a simple bullet challenge will get you across the ice before that door lowers in your face. As long as you're moving rapidly, and even if you're not moving rapidly enough, you, there's multiple chances. You're not, it's not the end of the world if you don't get it on your first try. So, there you have it. Data extracted. And once you extract the data, Singularity opens up, and we can just get right out here. And whoa, that was a little too close for comfort. There we go. That, whoa! I can't believe I actually did that without getting, taking a laser to the face. But, I somehow did. Okay. So, here's what I was talking about. There's where our laser plate was spinning on a circle, but now it's no longer. And here, you can drop down. And this singularity is the one that takes you. Now the lasers are showing! I don't, I don't get it. Why the lasers were off a moment before, and now they're on. Or why I can no longer get out of here, but that's that's okay. But like I said, this 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 will be fun. This will be fun trying to get out of here, so I can actually demonstrate to you guys. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just going to oh, like heck, oh no, ouch, 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 move, move, Noah, move, ah. <laughs> As you can see, this is this way is quite dangerous. Uh, yeah. Um. I'm not really sure. Okay. So here's the way I would actually recommend doing this. Not the way I just did. But. I would actually recommend. It's usually. Whoa. Uh, it can be easier, as you can see. The top, the top plates generally have, um, well, they generally have a little less risk than the bottom plates, since you can actually still jump straight down. You, you can still uh, land on the bottom plates, even if the top plates are already. Uh, even if the top plates are, <laughs> you can even fall off of them. That's what I'm trying to say. Even if you fall off the top plates, you can still land on the bottom ones. Either way, though. As you can see, there you go. It's not too bad. All right, now I gotta do this again. Woo! All right, guys. Uh, there's even that special interaction with the Prime Warframe, where those those Death Orbs down there even release energy for you guys. That's pretty awesome. So there you go. I showed you the two different ways you can do this fall. You can go to the right through the giant pit of lasers and traps, or you can do it you know, the usual way, which is go to the left and shoot out all the spectators along the way. Either way, do it your own way. Have fun with this vault. This was this is the, uh, the laser death trap vault. <laughs> I don't know why the Oricon decided to make this, but they did. So, alright. It's always fun in the on Pavlov Earth. Okay. Enough rambling. Peace out, YouTube. Herb to derp, out.